Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to talk about Mason Mount, pairing him with Bruno Fernandes, and where, why Manchester United, and especially Ten Hag, want um, Mason Mount, which for me is a bit of a weird one, but I think as you go through the video, I think you'll understand it a little bit more. So, Mason Mount um, hasn't had a great season this season, so we're going to go from his best season, which is probably, what, 21-22? We're going to have a little look at his stats from there. And then we're going to compare them then to Bruno's best season, which arguably could be many really, but we're going to go with the most up-to-date one, which is this season. Once this then, um, I think this will understand why we want him. Um, and I think it's more of an option, more than a replacement. So if you have a look at Mason Mount's stats, um, he played 27 games uh, over 2,500 minutes. Um, about eight minutes per match, okay, and he averaged about seven point six, which is okay. That's brilliant. That's an average rating. Happy with that. Um, not bad at all. So this is where it gets interesting. So, Mason Mount scored scored eleven goals. His goal to expectation was eight point zero five. His shots were seventy six on target. Only twenty eight of them. Off target with 26. Um, block shots and all that. Yeah, we didn't. Oh, he's offside six times. There we go. There we go. Um, so for me, look, 11 goals. Brilliant. That's really good, especially for a, a, a number 10 in the, in sitting in that cam position, um, which I believe he's going to be playing. I do believe he'd be competing with Bruno. Um, I don't think he'd be, he'd be playing in the Ericsson role. Um, I don't think that's correct, and, and I don't think that's right. Um, so that's the attacking form there for Bruno, uh, for Mason Mount. Comparing it to Bruno, this is where you see, I think, why we're going to get him and, and the reason why, okay? So he's played 34 games, Bruno has, over 3,200 minutes, averaging 97, 97 minutes per match, which is absurd, absolutely absurd for, 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 um, for one season, uh, averaging 7.2, which do you know what I mean? Again, it's, it's an average. It's, it's brilliant. Um, this season he scored six goals. Expectation of seven point two. Um, eighty three shots, but only thirty on target. I think this is where you see the difference. I think he, he the difference between Bruno, Mason Mount, Mason Mount's a lot cooler, calmer on the ball. Bruno like is very flamboyant with the ball. You'll try a world pass, a worldy pass. You'll try shooting from thirty yards. But I don't think Mason Mount is about that. Mason Mount is more more calm, cool, collected on the ball. He'll try and find a pass instead of shooting for 30 yards. He'll restart the whole process again if he has to, um, to 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 fulfil what he needs to do. Um, which is obviously getting the pass off and, and scoring the goal. Um Again then, so six six goals, um thirty two were off target. Um, and he was offside 15 times. I don't really care about the offside thing. Again, I think it proves that from the attacking point of view, I think Mason Mount holds a bit more calmness in it. Um, a bit more, a bit more like steadiness. I think it offers. I think he offers a different type. Uh, when we need a bit more control in the in the attacking front, saying we're playing against I don't know Leeds and we're totally on him constantly. I think Mason Mount will play better in that role rather than Bruno Fernandes. Um, and I think this will prove now in the next stat. So the, the passing stat. So he had 10 assists, which is brilliant. You know what I mean? Um, expected assist, which is 7.2, which obviously he's done higher. So it's brilliant. Um, over 1,000 passes, brilliant. Completed passes, 900, which is 86%. Which is really, really good. That's that's high. You want anything for front attack in midfield you want over eighty percent easy. Um eighty five percent preferably. Um but even his tackling, his defensive side, he, he's winning sixty three percent tackle success, which for an attacking midfield is it's not bad. It's not bad at all. And um yeah. Made thirty fouls, but I don't really bother about fouls. But yeah, for an attacking midfielder to, to come back and, and hit sixty three percent tackle success. I'm happy with that. So I think it shows that he, he does work back a little bit. Um, I think Bruno's stats will be very similar. I'm not too sure. We'll have a little look. 
So yeah, as you can see in the defensive side of it, 63% again defensive side. Again, they both work hard. You, we all know Bruno works hard on the pitch and, and he's phenomenal. But this is the stat that's more bigger for me. Is the completed passes. 78%. Um, and I think that's the big issue for, for Ten Hag. Is the fact that he wants someone who's able to keep the ball. Progress the ball. But also make the pass that is right. And the pass that's going to work. Bruno's very wasteful with his passing. Um, sometimes it pays off. You know what I mean? Sometimes it doesn't. Um, so... An assist of eight, but he's this is the difference, right? He's got eight assists, but he's expected to get fifteen point nine. So that's the difference for me is the fact that he's wasteful with his passing, and where he could massively because he should be on like sixteen assists, seventeen assists, right? So for me, that, that could also be that we have a, a decent striker playing bag horse this season as well. So okay, we can't all put that through, but it could be that he's very very wasteful with the ball as well so for me i think that's the big big reason is simply because we want to keep possession of the ball and that is it that is it and that 83 percent is absolutely huge um over the season to do that where they played roughly the same games okay bruno's just been an absolute iron man this um this season and, and the amount of games he played is absolutely phenomenal so yeah i think it needs to be looked into um, and I think that's the reason why we're paying, paying the money for Mason Mount and we want to get him in. And he is only 24. Look, he can sit on the bench for a bit. He can play. He can replace Bruno quite a lot. Um, we'll see. We'll see. But that's the reasons why I think it's for a more progressive, a more um, dominant um, style of football um, where, we, where we dominate the ball. Um, and I think that's the reason why we're going for Mason Mount. So, guys, if you like the video, don't forget to drop a like. Don't forget to drop a comment and don't forget drop a sub if you want to hear more of this. We're going to be going more into the transfers very soon. So guys, take care. Much love. Peace.